is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So today we'll be heading to Long Shop to check on the Mitsubishi Lancer Turbo build. She's really close to getting done. I know I keep saying this, but she's really, really close. We should be done hopefully in the next week or so. I'm just gonna get it tuned. And uh, yeah, I believe yesterday I had to leave the shop a little bit earlier, but he was working on the transmission oil cooler. So let's head to the shop and check that out. So we're gonna head out take the DC5 RSX we just got done with the oil change here at Marco's crib so if you guys are wondering why it looks different it's because we are at Marco's garage um, you guys haven't checked out the previous video make sure to check on the oil change video but we're just gonna back the car out Just got to Long Shop and it's raining. Long brought out the Mercedes Benz. We have AJ in the S2000 and ooh, his buddy brought out the Evo 8. And over here we have my Mitsubishi Lancer Turbo build. We, we have the transmission cooler and fan just installed. We haven't had the hookup yet waiting for a relay but hopefully should be able to put it into the shop pretty soon and get it worked on. The Evo 8 is so clean. If you guys didn't know, this Evo 8 used to belong to Long and I've seen the car on plenty of times. She just recently spray painted the whole car and he sold it for a great badass price um, to one of AJ's friend. And then like I say, AJ brought the S2000 as well. Let's get a little more up close of the S2000. So you guys might have seen this, uh, this car in a few previous videos but super clean S2000. And AJ actually tracks this car pretty frequently, so it's not just a show queen. Everything he done to the car is functional. And he did correct me, the exhaust is actually a HKS exhaust, so I love the HKS stuff. I have it on my Mitsubishi Lancer GT and my brother has it on his Supra. Super clean. And Long's Mercedes Benz sitting nice on the 20 inch wheels i also want to come over here to check out the evo 8 got to show the mitsubishi fam some love this car is so nice sitting on the uh, bbs wheels this is the evo 8 mr carbon fiber hood i like how in the evo 8 you can kind of peek in there and see what's going on the turbo manifold it's kind of hard to see through that huge from all in a cooler man and like i said with the fresh paint i'm not sure what paint code this is but it looks so good long on this car for quite a long time before selling it like i said badass price on it carbon fiber mitsubishi badge evo 8 mr Both Mitsubishi's parked in the shop. Neil's Evo 8, again, super clean, super badass. And then my Mitsubishi Lancer that's turbo now. Small battery. Oh, that's a tiny battery. Yeah. Dang. The old one was huge, it took up the whole spot. Some new goodies on the Evo 8 since the last time I saw it. Pablo valve, intake, new battery, the okay. plug, it's quite packed. And now it's tuned. Back then it wasn't tuned yet. No, it's, yeah, now it's, now it's tuned. It's making good power. It pulls really, really good. Man. It's, uh, it was e-tuned, so we don't know exact power, but it's... Right. it's uh, and now it's dyno but, tuned? But dyno says it's real good. Yeah. It's awesome. So, didn't get much work done today at Long Shop. But I'm just gonna head home. I'll probably compile this to a separate video when I'm here on a separate day. To check out some progress on the car. 
So today I'll be heading back to Long Shop, Long Sono Motive to check on my Turbo Mitsubishi Lancer build. Uh, I know I keep saying we're really close to getting it done, but we really are close to getting it done. Um, the only reason we are having delays are because uh, number one, so the um, the whole transmission, oil cooler and fan is on. I do have to get a separate relay kit just to run it, uh, just to have power for the fans. And then for the battery relocation, we also do have to kind of fabricate and build a little bracket as well as uh, you know connect wires to make it fit. So a little bit of fabrication work usually takes a little bit of time. If it's just a straight bolt on, then it's pretty quick. Uh, I also am supposed to get my HKS downpipe in today. It's being shipped right now, it's out for delivery today. Uh, I've been waiting for a couple hours, it hasn't came yet. So probably in the next video, you guys should see the HKS downpipe. I uh, was speaking along and he did say actually the OEM Rally Art downpipe would work just fine. Uh, he just recommended that I take the cats out since I have to get it welded. He's like, might as well remove your cats. It's going to have better flow. Um, you know, I don't drive the car a lot that often, but you know, it should sound pretty good as well. Um, the only reason I want to go with a HKS downpipe is because I do have a HKS blow valve and a HKS exhaust. So I just wanted to have all HKS stuff. Uh, if you guys know JDM brands, HKS is a great brand. So yeah, it's about 200 bucks for the HKS downpipe. I'm still gonna have my do my uh, cat delete, so whenever I bring it to a muffler shop, I can ask them to chop off the cats and weld on the HKS downpipe to uh, the rest of the exhaust. Oh, and I haven't actually had the time to actually say a big thank you to one of the subscribers, of course, by King Shock. Um, so if you guys know, whenever I do like cinematic videos or if I do like a little DIY and have a time lapse, I put in some music. I put in some non-copyright music. Um, I want to give a big thank you to King Shock. He actually produced some of the beats that you heard in recent videos for my YouTube channel. So big thank you to you, King Shock. He's a subscriber to the channel. He drives a Mitsubishi Lancer as well. So super awesome. Um, and he does have other beats on his SoundCloud. If you guys want to check that out, I'm going to put it on my description links. Uh, he goes by King Shock underscore Kilowatt. So I'm going to link it right here as well. If you guys want to check him out uh, again, big thank you to you, King Shock, for producing the beats for my channel. So I have both my DC5 RSX and my FG2 Civic SI both in the garage and like I said DC5 RSX has been the daily. Not too sure what direction I want to build the FG2 yet. Uh, there are some guys telling me to build it into like an autocross or track car or should I keep her as a good daily as well? I'm not sure. But what do you guys think? Uh, which car should I uh, take as my daily today? I'm thinking maybe the FG2 Civic SI. I haven't actually driven it down to the shop since I bought it just because it is pretty far. It's about a 40, well, 30 to 45 minute drive. So yeah, let's take the FG2 Civic SI to long shot. And I'm gonna start her up. It's gonna be a cold start, pretty loud. So car's all warmed up, I think I'm good to go. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I driven this thing around, but I haven't driven it on a long trip yet. And I might change out this shift knob pretty soon because a little old and crusty is probably the OEM shift knob. So yeah, always exciting to drive my SI. Just made it back to Long Shop, Long Automotive. Gonna check on my Turbo Lancer build. Just parked the Civic SI over here and we have my Mitsubishi Lancer over here on the side. So let's check it out. So, like I said, recently we uh, had the transmission oil cooler installed as long as the transmission fans. So let me just show you guys a little bit more up close of it. So over here, on the driver's side, this right here is the OEM transmission cooler. On some models they don't come with it, but I think the GT and GTS comes with it. And then I got an aftermarket Hayden performance uh, oil cooler here as well, slightly bigger, as well as a transmission fan. Um, and I was told by some other Turbo Mitsubishi Lancer owners that running this setup keeps it much cooler, especially the CVT trans. Um, so yeah, we are stacking it. I was hoping to have one on each side, but stacking it seems to be the easiest way to run it. And then also over here, I had to get some um, AN fittings, um, AN lines, some L-shaped ones because the one they came with is just go straight down. So we just gotta route that 
to connect it to the OEM oil lines. So we have to splice it in to the OEM oil lines. The only thing left is this little fan right here. As you can see, it's not connected yet. So I just have to get some um, relay kit just so I can connect it. Uh, I think the way we're gonna do it is uh, whenever the radiator fans kick on back there, we'll have this fan kick on as well. And right as I got here, one of the trucks just came by to drop off the wheel. So we have the wheel repair. If you guys watched my videos a few videos back, I just pick up T37s and yeah, wheel is replaced. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see where the scuff mark was previously. And besides repairing it, they also did have to repaint the whole wheel. So that's what they did. Can't even tell, it looks like a brand new wheel. So I found the spot. So we had an arrow over here. So previously, the damaged spot is right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. You can see they had to re-weld the lip. But yeah, there's just a little damage there that got repaired. From the face of the wheel looks perfectly good right now. So also just bumped to Sang's Acura TSX here. Super clean. For a while I wanted like an Acura TL TSX before I got the RSX. Super clean look. Also have a DC2 Integra over here for some work. Pretty clean. We're gonna have Iman pick up some food. We're gonna let him drive the FG2 Civic Si. Iman gonna drive the Civic Si. So actually he was the first one to drive it before I bought the car. <laughs> Pick some water burger up. back from grabbing food from Whataburger and Iman driving it. What do you think? Pretty solid? Pretty solid car man. Feels pretty good too. Yeah we're guessing. Well probably pro pretty sure it has a tune but yeah. we're just not sure if he has cams maybe. I'm pretty sure he has it still. Because I know the last time when we were talking along he's like we think he has cams. Um, so I know so far he does have the Skunk 2 headers, Skunk 2 3 inch exhaust. He probably has uh, Skunk 2 Maybe he's getting two cams, who knows? Yeah. May, might be a hard to skunk to guy and engine core intake as it well. Does, it does idle like it does have cams. That's true, it does idle. And somebody dropped up some Adohan wheels over here with some fresh tires. I don't know whose car is gonna go on to. So we're gonna pull the car into the shop here in a little bit to get it worked on. Early there were a few other cars here in the shop, but right now we pull everything out. It's time to make some progress on the turbo build. Put it down. Gonna go ahead and mount the tires onto the T37 right now. M3 back in after a quick wash down, fresh paint. Ooh, looks good. Sounds good too. V8. And tires are on the wheel, all balanced. Good to go. Hey, you got cast? No, no center cast. Like brand new. DC2 Aircraft Integra pulling in K Swap Integra. Little closer look of this BMW M3. So, naturally aspirated V8 engine.
really nice bunch of carbon fiber pieces in the interior one of my favorite parts is the carbon fiber roof so if you want to get a carbon fiber roof done it's really expensive and you do have to cut a big hole um yeah super cool still have fresh paint on the m3 looks really good alignment done on the integra such a clean car fresh paint too And AJ was telling me how the uh, aftermarket oil cooler was ran. So there's a few ways you could run it. But basically, we didn't want to run like a T fitting. So basically, the oil will flow from the top up here to the OEM oil cooler. After it flows to this, it'll make a little U and then flow through this aftermarket Hayden oil cooler and flow back. So it runs through this first oil cooler then to the second one then back instead of running to two separate ones with a t-fitting and also over here we have some stuff to uh, relocate my battery so we're gonna have it over here we did the uh, windshield wiper fluid delete since this is not my daily car um, have some of the terminals over here and then trying to fabricate a bracket somewhere right here to get it mounted we have Sang's Acura TSX coming to the shop so clean so i'm just gonna head home right now taking the si home uh, so today we were just mocking up some stuff for the battery relocation didn't exactly get much done because it was a busy day here at the shop but i did get my extra t37 wheel back from the repair shop so i'm really excited uh in a few upcoming videos you guys might see the t37s be mounted on the civic si so if you guys are excited for that don't forget to leave a thumbs up again if you're new to the channel want to stay tuned on all my videos make sure to hit that subscribe it really helps me out a lot and hit that little notification bell so you know when new videos are out thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one